exposing the Department for Energy building that's got the worst energy rating and it's making green campaigners see red. I think that a green department that can't even be bothered to sort out its own office's energy rating, it just shows complete indifference to what's going on in its own backyard. Very good evening, I'm Assad Ahmed. BBC London has found that the government department advising businesses and homeowners on how to be more energy efficient runs a building itself which has the lowest energy efficiency rating possible. The offices in Westminster are rated G, which means it doesn't get any worse as it already has the highest levels of carbon dioxide emissions. Well, the department's response to our findings is that they're going to fit double glazing and a new boiler in the building. Here's Gareth Furby. What does an energy efficient building look like? Well, perhaps something like this. It's a Victorian cottage in Camberwell, but look a little closer and there are solar panels and triple glazing. It all makes a difference. Basically, last year my gas bill was £12 for the year and my electricity bill was minus 250. It made my home energy efficient by putting solid wall insulation, triple glazing, underfloor insulation. And what does this house look like through a thermal imaging camera? Interesting. But what about buildings operated by the Department for Business, Energy and Industrial Strategy, which gives property owners advice on how to be energy efficient? Well, this is one of them. How's it doing? Our thermal imaging camera suggested the walls were getting pretty hot. But on a sunny day, it's hard to interpret this. So instead, we went in search of the facts with a freedom of information request. And this revealed that this building with heating controlled by a department that generates so much advice is itself generating too much CO2. Its energy efficiency certificate reveals it has a rating of G. And to quote government guidance, G means the highest carbon dioxide emissions, the worst rating. It's the poorest band. We showed this result to an expert on the best practice for energy efficiency. Any building that is on that scale um, is essentially operated inefficiently, which means there is energy and carbon emissions that could be avoided and obviously associated cost savings uh, missed. And also more broadly, you would expect any government building, not particularly that of energy and climate change, to demonstrate leadership. A department spokesperson said it was installing more double glazing in this building and replacing the boiler system with a modern energy efficient one. Critics, though, aren't happy. I think that a green department that can't even be bothered to sort out its own office's energy rating, it just shows complete indifference to what's going on in its own backyard. The department spokesperson said it had more than met a goal to reduce emissions by 40%, three years ahead of target and emissions were now down by 51%. Gareth Furby, BBC London News.